Colliers highlights its latest research on Ras Al Khaimah's hospitality and tourism sector. There is, you know, significant growth from 2021, um, despite, you know, other destinations, other competing destinations now welcoming tourists after the pandemic. Um, which resulted in over a million overnight hotel guests in Russell Kema and um, quite a favorable split when it comes to domestic and inbound demand. So although it was uh, more driven by the domestic demand at 56%, um, there was also significant inbound demand from um, key source markets such as Russia, Kazakhstan, as well as India, Germany and the UK. The market was able to achieve an excess of 60% occupancy, which is really quite a good number. That 62% is um, 10 percentage points below what was the figure in 2019 at 72%. Um, what has actually helped the performance of hotels is a stronger ADR figure. So it was um, uh, in 2022, the figures were around uh, 150 US dollars on a full year basis. The strong ADR is attributable to the majority five star supply, including resorts that are able to command these higher premium rates. Looking forward, it is expected with more properties coming in that perhaps this occupancy number could stabilize somewhere between 62 and 72%. Providing software for calculating the carbon footprint of aircrafts, Choose is optimistic about the GCC aviation sector achieving its zero carbon goal. Middle East have a real shot at taking, um, I'd say, a leading position. Uh, number one, it is big global hubs for aviation, really connecting all parts of the world. So kind of the exposure you have towards, I'd say, basically every nationality globally is quite unique. Uh, number two, uh, the local competency in the Middle East as such, especially when it comes to you know fuel production, uh, that deep knowledge being applied into, for instance, sustainable aviation fuel, I think it's, it's a really important head start. I hope we will see actual uh, net zero before 2050.